All right, it's card of the day, and this is card number 211, titled A Proud Moment for Han and Luke. This time, I'll read more about the history of Han Solo. Forced to flee on a swoop bike, Han and Fiola made it off-planet after a harrowing encounter and planned to meet up with Chewbacca on a mood. Chewbacca was also forced to make a somewhat hurried escape. While Han and Fiola were on the transport that was taking them to meet Chewbacca, they were attacked by pirates who were looking for them. They escaped in one of the pirates' craft and landed at the nearby estates of the Moor Glade. Han and Chewbacca were eventually reunited after Han saved the Morg Glade from a duel which would have gotten him killed. The Glade estate provided Han with a way to get back to the Falcon and Chewbacca. As Han was leaving the planet, he was pursued by the pirate slavers. However, at that point, a CSA Victory Class Star Destroyer intervened and tractor beamed both ships. Though they helped her break up the gang, they barely escaped being arrested by another CSA executive, Odomin, who had really been the tracer, Spray, and earned the enmity of a hired gun named Galandro. They did, however, manage to steal the money Solo felt the CSA owed them. Giving up on the corporate sector, the Falcon's crew attempted close legging in the Kron Drift and a currency exchange scam in the Lesser Chloriod Cluster, before finding themselves short on cash and stuck in the Tyon hedge money. After several misadventures, they joined with Solo's old friend Badur, a young woman named Hasti, and a Rurian historian named S.V. Skinks on a hunt for Zim the Despot's long-lost treasure ship, Queen of Ranroon. On Delult, they finally discovered the treasure's vaults. After run-ins with the survivors, the descendants of Zim soldiers, and their ancient war bots, Solo finally discovered the vaults though Galandro followed him to the vaults and challenged the smuggler to a duel. The automatic defense systems killed the gunfighter. Solo and his associates then recovered the treasure. Unfortunately for them, after all those years, it had become outdated war material. The two droids stayed with Skinks when Solo and Chewbacca left the Tyon hegemony. Shortly after this, Han and Chewie were arrested by the Empire. The Millennium Falcon was impounded and the two smugglers were put in solitary confinement on the Imperial prison barge, Purge. When the crew of the Purge fell victim to a horrific bioweapon created by the Empire, Han and Chewie were let out of their cells by Zahara Cody, the ship's doctor, in a bid for freedom from the virus. Han and Chewbacca managed to help Cody and a few others escape from the virus, then regain the Falcon and resume their smuggling career. That's it for now. More information on the next Han Solo car. And now it's the back side of the card, and it's a puzzle piece that features Han Solo. Well, that's the card of the day. Look out for the next card. Thank you for watching Star Wars Obsessed Card of the Day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can follow Star Wars Obsessed on Instagram and Facebook.